Impact of Introductal Ultrasound in Diagnosing and Staging of Pancreatobiliary Tumors The indications for introductal ultrasound, also referred as IDUS, include tumors of the extra- and intrahepatic bile duct system, biliary strictures of unknown etiology, and tumors of the pancreatic head. Additionally to the above-mentioned published indications, IDUS may also contribute to the diagnosis of cholangiolithiasis. The characteristic features of these EUS probes are their small diameter, maximum of 2.6 mm, and their high frequencies allowing a very high resolution of the surrounding tissue. The insertion of the mechanic endosonographic probes should only be done while disconnected from the driving unit. According to a study by Menzel and Domschk, the expenditure of time for an additional endoscopic ultrasound applying the high-frequency mini-probes is around 6 minutes 30 seconds, which allows the presentation of the biliary system in almost every case. While in the past, the mini-probes were occasionally also used with a pancreatic duct, nowadays, most endoscopists abstain from insertion into the pancreatic duct system to avoid post-ERCP pancreatitis. Moreover, it has been proven that the 6 to 8 French mini-probes do not follow the course of the pancreatic duct. The mini-probe is carefully inserted through the working channel of the duodenoscope. Due to the fragility of the probes, it is essential to move the catheter in short movements. The mini-probe is advanced until the probe reaches the tip of the endoscope. During this process, the elevator is in closed position. By this means, the endoscopist should be fully aware of the following most crucial part of the examination, the insertion of the probe through Vata's papilla. After the mini-probe has reached the tip of the duodenoscope, the elevator now has to be opened completely. Since the EUS mini-probes are very sensitive, Endoscopists should use the elevator in the following extremely carefully and as restrictive as possible. As mentioned previously, the probe should be disconnected from the driving unit at this point of the examination. After inserting the EUS catheter past the region of the interest, the probe is now connected to the driving unit. Under slow withdrawal through the bile duct system, it is essential to examine the wall of the bile duct comprehensively. Fluoroscopy may be useful to anticipate the exact position of the ultrasound transducer with respect to the region of interest. In this case, we observe a benign prepapillary stenosis in terms of a papillitis stenosens. Benign strictures are characterized by a homogeneous echoic mass with smooth margins, as seen on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we see the images of a patient with pancreatic cancer. As ERCP suggested, a malignant biliary obstruction. IDUS showed an echopore mass infiltrating the common bile duct and being in close topographic relation to the hepatic artery. Another important indication is the evaluation of proximal stenosis. ERCP shows a complete obstruction of the common bile duct with dilation proximal of the stricture. IDUS of the same patient demonstrates a hypoechoic inhomogeneous lesion suggestive of a malignant neoplasia infiltrating the portal vein. Additionally, introductal ultrasound may allow a reliable statement with respect to resectability. 
In a patient referred to our department with suspected perihilia cholangiocarcinoma, fluoroscopy suggested a type 3 to 4 tumor, according to the bismuth classification, with a large filling defect. After insertion of the mini-probe past the stricture, the echopore mass shows the infiltration of a malignant tumor in the right intrahepatic biliary system. In the next step, the probe is forwarded into the left hepatic duct and slowly withdrawn. After reaching the bifurcation, the endoscopist clearly determines that both the left hepatic duct and bifurcation are free of tumorous infiltration. Sometimes it may be difficult to judge the biliary wall after previous insertion of a plastic stent. As seen in this video sequence, the biliary wall is thickened in a concentric fashion. After further cautious withdrawal of the EUS probe, we recognize the true pathologic finding, an echopore, echo-inhomogeneous mass. Limitations of mini-probe endosonography of the pancreatic biliary system may include low penetration of the high-frequency mini-probes, costs and clinical value in pancreatic cancer. Diagnosis of strictures affecting the biliary tract using non-surgical methods is highly desirable. IDUS gives clinically important data by visualizing the wall layers in biliary strictures. IDUS may estimate the extent of potentially cancerous infiltration. And finally, IDUS may contribute to appropriate therapeutic decisions in malignant biliary strictures.